What I'm about to show you are all the parts you should replace when doing a timing belt job on a 4G63 engine. My timing parts are specific to a 89 to 92 and a half 6 bolt, but I've listed the 7 bolt part numbers wherever they're different. Some of them are the same even though the 6 bolt and 7 bolt engines use different water pumps, front cases, timing mounts, and tensioner assemblies. I'm using a Gates timing belt, T167RB1. That's just the timing belt, no balancer belt. That's what the 1 means on the end of the part number. The one with the balancer belt is a T167RB. Here we have a brand new water pump for a 1G. It doesn't matter if it's a turbo or a non-turbo. All the 1Gs use the same water pump. If you need one for a 2G, it's an MD972050. Next up from the box, we have a timing pulley. I think 55 is the happy face pulley. We'll open it in a second to see. I think I'm right because this is the small box. There's a 66 on it, so this is the idler pulley. All 89 to 99 DSMs use the same pulleys. Here we have a new hydraulic tensioner. This one is specifically for all six bolt blocks. There are six different revisions to this part and four different hydraulic tensioners available depending on your application. So the part you used is based on what year front case you have. Next up we have a water pump bolt kit. Let's take a quick look at the happy face pulley. The manual calls it the eccentric pulley. We call it the happy face pulley for obvious reasons. There's a special tool needed to set this correctly that uses two pins in the eye holes and it adapts to an eighth inch inch pound torque wrench allowing you to set the correct tension on the belt prior to pulling the pin on the tensioner. If you don't have this tool it's on eBay. You will not find it in any parts store or tool truck and you will need it. This thing keeps your timing belt slack in check when you set the happy face correctly, but they can fail. And the last thing you want is for this thing to go limp on an interference engine. Replace it. Three of the bolts are different lengths when you compare them 6 bolt versus 7 bolt. So if you're doing a 6 bolt swap like me, your old bolts won't work. If you clean up your bolts on a wire wheel, they'll rust almost immediately after assembly because it strips off the galvanized coating. But they're cheap and easy enough to replace if you're working on your own car, you know what I'm saying? Whether you buy OEM or aftermarket, your water pump should come with both gaskets that you'll need to replace. This is an OEM water pump, and you can see it's made by Azen. I recall the old school water pumps on the 2G cars having a pin to help you install the two-piece pulley in tight spaces without having to fill a jar full of quarters afterwards. They seem to have gone extinct. You'll notice there are guide pin holes in both of your pulleys. So that's it if you're doing a timing belt job. Those are all the parts to do it right. You should replace all of it for best results. The only thing I don't have here is the balancer belt tensioner because my engine won't have balance shafts. Like the tensioner, the balancer is also bolted to the front case that was revised several times, so there are three different balancer belt tensioner pulleys as a result. Get the right one if you have balance shafts. Get the right water pump, timing belt tensioner, and water pump bolts for your application if you're replacing them. The belts and pulleys are all the same no matter what year 4G63 you have. This is an eccentric pulley tensioner tool, which I'll always refer to as the happy face tool. It's got two pins that are offset from the center on one side and a quarter inch drive socket adapter on the other. If you don't have this tool when you're doing a timing belt job on a 4G series Mitsubishi, you're only going to get your timing belt tension correct through guesswork. You have to have this. Another thing you need to have is an inch pound torque wrench. The clicker style torque wrenches are completely inadequate for this kind of duty. So you'll need to use the smallest resolution needle style inch pound torque wrench you can find. I prefer the Park Tool TW1 60 inch pound torque wrench. Google that if you need one, but the 60 inch pound resolution makes it really easy to read the tiny amount of preload required while you torque down the center bolt of the happy face pulley. That torque rating is 26.4 inch pounds on a 1G and 31.2 inch pounds for the 2G. That's right around the middle of this one. I'll show you the concept of how this works. There's actually two different tensioners on a 4G series timing belt. One's hydraulic and one's mechanical. The mechanical one is the happy face pulley. In order for the hydraulic tensioner to function in its proper range, you have to manually set the preload on the happy face pulley. When you're installing the timing belt, before you torque down the happy face pulley bolt, you insert the pins into the eyes and put a specified preload tension on the belt. Another popular tool is the timing belt tensioner tool, MD998378. This is really useful for people servicing 4G engines that have the original engines installed in their chassis. Because I'm doing a 6 bolt installation in my 2G, it's completely useless to me because the tensioner doesn't line up with the hole that you thread this through, but you screw it in to push on the tensioner arm to relieve the pressure on the timing belt so that you can change it or service the valve train without having to remove the hydraulic tensioner and recompress it. It's a time saver. If all you need to do is a timing belt job on your dual overhead cam 4G63, then this video should save you lots of time and effort getting all of the right parts together. 
The revision dates, quantities, and part numbers are all duplicated in the description for your convenience. If you're adding a pile of aftermarket parts to a rebuild, you'll love what I've got coming up next. Stay tuned.